There are benefits, other than monetization, to starting a YouTube channel in your midlife years. Now wait, wait, wait. Even if you aren't in your midlife years, some of these principles still apply, and I'd love to tell you about them. Can you, oh my gosh, can you hear that? The coyotes. I think it's the coyotes. Anyway. I'm Chris, and I'm a midlife era, post-career Gen Xer, creating the life I want one day at a time. I started my YouTube channel very recently as a fun thing to do with the possibility of making a little bit of extra money here and there. I've also spent the last few years doing research about aging and midlife and the psychological aspect of retirement. And once I started my YouTube channel, it didn't take me long to realize that all of the activities around becoming a content creator were leading me down the path of doing all of those things I had been reading about on a regular basis. Here's what I mean. First, there's the process of learning. Study after study shows that learning new skills contributes to your brain health, your cognitive function, your emotional well being. Creating a YouTube channel presents all kinds of opportunities for learning. I've already learned things like how to upload a video, of course, how to understand how the algorithm works, how to interpret analytics, how to get monetized. All of those things are just the tip of the iceberg. There's also all kinds of new tech that you can learn when you're becoming a content creator. You can keep it as basic as you want, but you can also dive into learning things about gimbals and different kinds of mics. And then don't even get me started on the editing tools, whether you decide to use iMovie or DaVinci Resolve. The editing software itself could take up years of learning if you really put the time into it. There are also planning and creating tools that you can use, whether it's Notion or Canva or CapCut or Epidemic Sound. The sky is the limit in terms of all of the different tools there are out there. And not only do you get to pick which ones you want to use and the learning that's involved in that, but then learning each of the individual tools themselves. And this is a really important piece of it for me because I've witnessed people in my life who, as they've gotten older, have really become afraid of technology. I remember my grandparents being terrified of using a remote control or using an ATM. And, you know, that was a long time ago, but there are people in my life now who really just don't understand how apps work on smart TVs and, and just really get paralyzed with fear of these new technologies and, and become resistant to learning them even. And I'm not saying technology is the be all end all of, you know, creating a happy life or anything, but it certainly over time helps. It's a, they're tools that can help your life actually be easier. And I don't ever want to be afraid of them. And of course, with AI really picking up steam and the inevitability of how much it's going to impact our lives, I also am diving into how AI can help me create. I don't ever want to use AI to create for me, but I absolutely want to understand how it works and what it can do to help me create what I want to create. And then there's the more creative aspects of being a content creator on YouTube. Things to learn such as um, videography and editing techniques. You know, how often do we watch the Oscars and we see, you know, best editor, best cinematographer, and what does that mean? And when you dive into the world of YouTube content creation, it's an opportunity to really understand what that is and, and kind of lean into the creative aspect of that as well. For me, there will always be a gap between what I have in my head and what I, what I desire to create versus what my skill set will allow me to create. But it's that constant learning journey that really 
fits into the, the, the brain health and the cognitive development over time that I'm just really embracing. Another creative aspect is storytelling. We hear a lot about how storytelling is just such a powerful way to communicate and to um, you know, share our thoughts and feelings and to help people understand things. And I'm at the very beginning of my storytelling learning curve. And while I've learned to do that on paper in, you know, writing, I've actually started writing a book years ago. I'm still in the process of it. But learning how to tell a story real time like this and using cinematography to um, and visual storytelling to tell a story, to compel people to want to watch is a fascinating creative journey and learning it in relation to creating videos is a whole new world for me. And that dovetails into really just the general benefits of creativity. I'm gonna read you a quote um, by Sophia Loren. I have to take my glasses off to do it. Um, she said, this is Sophia Loren. She said, there's a foundation of youth. It is your mind, your talents, the creativity you bring to your life and the lives of people you love. When you learn to tap this source, you will truly have defeated age. I just find that incredibly powerful. And having this channel also creates a dynamic for me that everything that I consume, whether it's you know, a conversation or an article or a movie or something that's happening in the world, I'm thinking about it in terms of my channel and how I might be able to use things as a, as a topic or, or as a, a thinking point around how it relates to midlife and how it relates to, you know, our, our journey as humans. And, and just that aspect of, of constantly being in a creative state in my brain has really just fired things up. And I know that it's, that it's so good for my brain. There's another quote I wanna to read to you. Um, this time it's from the Journal of Aging Studies. And it says, creativity is related to successful aging since it fosters a perception of circumstances as opportunities for growth. Creativity requires an openness to challenges and a willingness to test one's problem solving skills to arrive at unique solutions. Artistic creativity involves the practice and development of skills that facilitate practical creativity in other areas of the individual's life. And I really believe that this doesn't just apply to, you know, the artsy creative processes, but, um, you know, learning how to cook a new cook a meal that you've never cooked before is creativity. Um, trying to figure out the best way to get from point A to point B on a road trip is a creative process. You can apply this to so many areas of your life, but clearly this, this process of creating a YouTube channel and creating these videos just is, is just an abundance of places to use that creative process. The third way that being a YouTube creator is contributing to my midlife wellness is around community. Again, it's also pretty well known that having a robust community of people, oh, helicopter. <laughs> so I forgot where I was before the helicopter. I was talking about community, connecting with people who are viewing your videos in the comments and the back and forth there connecting with other creators who are along this journey with you and, and helping each other figure out the ins and outs of being a content creator. Um, these things have just already, even though I'm in the very early stages, have already shown to be a really exciting and um, a little bit unforeseen aspect of, of, of what I'm doing. And making these new connections is so incredibly good for your mental health. And I know I've been warned that as your channel grows and you get bigger and bigger and your audience gets bigger and, um, and you get more and more people commenting on your channel, that it can get really hard on your mental health, hearing some of the negativity and dealing with some of the issues around that. But that's something, that, that's a path that I'll go down when, when it presents itself. For now, 
I am just so thrilled with the, with the small community that I've built so far. And it's absolutely a benefit. And the last thing I want to talk about is how this content creation process has created a sense of purpose for me. And I'm not just talking about filling the hours of the day, um, because there are a lot of ways to do that. Let's be real. And, you know, there are parts of my life, there are a lot of parts of my life where I feel a deep sense of purpose. But when you're coming out of a career and being, you know, so focused on big projects and tasks and, and, you know, things that you do on a daily basis where you get to contribute and add value and feel a sense of accomplishment, having a project like this, like being a content creator, really helps fill the hole that was left there for me um, in that it not only gives you something to focus on and do, but it really helps feed into my continuing want and need for accomplishment and feeling like I'm capable and like I can learn things and set a goal and achieve it and all of the aspects of your work life that kind of go away once you retire or you you're in your post-career era it gives me another thing to look forward to to be thinking about to be planning for to be learning to be better at and as you can tell like that just lights me up and i and i'm really grateful to this process for helping me find that. Now becoming a content creator is not for everybody. It absolutely is not. But I'm hoping that some of the things that we've just talked about resonate with you even if you don't wanna become a content creator. Things to look out for when you're thinking about hobbies to pick up or new challenges to go after. These things are really important, especially as we get later in life. And YouTube has proved to be the perfect thing for me to accomplish all of these things. It's gonna be very different for you, perhaps. I strongly encourage you to find something in your life, whether it's becoming a YouTube content creator or it's something else that gives you the benefits that we've talked about here today. Learning new skills, creating community, using your creative muscles, all of those things are gonna benefit you and help you create a life that you find fulfilling. If you're interested in how my YouTube journey is going, in a few days, I'm gonna be dropping another video with some of the details around what I've done and what I'm gonna be doing differently going forward based on my learnings over the last six weeks. Thanks for sticking around this long if you're still here. And if you are still here, please do all the things that would really help my channel grow. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time.